Unit 4, Group Discussions, 4.4, page 60. That's a section on listening, how to be successful in a group discussion. Check your progress 5. Now listen carefully to a talk on how to be successful in a group discussion. On the basis of what the speaker says, state whether the statements in Check Your Progress 5 are true or false. You may check your answers with the answer key. In order to succeed at any unstructured group discussion, you must define what your objective in the group is. A good definition of your objective is to be seen to have contributed meaningfully in an attempt to achieve the right consensus. The key words in this definition are seen, meaningfully and attempt. Let us understand what each of these imply in terms of action points. The first implication is that merely making a meaningful contribution in an attempt to achieve consensus is not enough. You have to be seen by the evaluator to have made a meaningful contribution in an attempt to build the right consensus. In other words, you must ensure that you are heard by the group. If the group hears you, so will the evaluator. You must get at least some airtime. If you are not a very assertive person, you will have to simply learn to be assertive for those 15 minutes. The second important implication is that making just any sort of contribution is not enough. Your contribution has to be meaningful. A meaningful contribution suggests that you have a good knowledge base, are able to structure arguments logically and are a good communicator. These are the qualities that are desired by all evaluators. One way of deciding what sort of contribution is meaningful at what point of time is to follow two simple rules. First, in times of chaos, a person who restores order to the group is appreciated. Your level of participation in a fish market kind of scenario can be low, but your degree of influence must never be low. In other words, you must make positive contribution every time you speak and not merely speak for the sake of speaking. The second rule is applicable when the group is floundering. In this situation, a person who provides a fresh direction to the group is given credit. The third implication is that you must be clearly seen to be attempting to build a consensus. Nobody expects a group of ten people, all with different points of view, on a controversial subject to actually achieve a consensus. But did you make the attempt to build a consensus? The reason why an attempt to build a consensus is important is because in most work situations you will have to work with people in a team, accept joint responsibilities and take decisions as a group. You must demonstrate the fact that you are capable and inclined to work as part of a team. What are the ways that you can try to build consensus? Firstly, you don't just talk. You also listen. You must realize that other people also may have valid points to make. You should not only try to persuade other people to your point of view, but also come across as a person who has an open mind and appreciates the valid points of others. You must try and resolve contradictions and arguments of others in the group. You must synthesize arguments and try and achieve a unified position in the group. Try and summarize the discussion at the end. In the summary, do not merely restate your point of view. Also, accommodate dissenting viewpoints. If the group did not reach a consensus, say so in your summary. You must carry people with you. One last point. You must not agree with another participant in the group merely for the sake of achieving consensus. If you disagree, say so. You are not there to attempt to build just any consensus. You have to attempt to build the right consensus. Four point ten. That's on page sixty four. Pronunciation. Here are some more collocations. Repeat as you hear each one. 
cost control. Market share. Express an opinion. Draw a conclusion. Break the deadlock. Illustrate the point. Beside the point. Make any headway. Reach a compromise. For the time being.